In today's tutorial, we're learning how to turn this beautiful daytime picture of the Taj Mahal into a nighttime picture where we have a change of the background, the text, as well as the foreground, the image changing colors just a little bit. And for this tutorial, we're starting from Unsplash where we want to find the image. And here I'm going to look for Taj Mahal in the search bar. This gives us quite a lot of images that are really nice. I'm going to go for the landscape images and then look for one that I want to use. If you want to remove the background, I suggest you take one with a very clean cut. So the clouds here might mess up things a little bit, but the clearer the sky and the lines, the better it is. So I'm going to use this one here with the nice yellow background for the day, and I'm going to download it. Then I'm going to jump back into PowerPoint, and here we want to add the image to the slide. I'm going to fill it to full screen. There we go. And now there's a few things we can do. First, let's crop so that it just fits the slide. So we have the perfect 16 by 9 ratio. There we go. And now there's a few things we can do. We can either go to the picture format tab at the top and then remove background and then select with the pen tool whatever we want to keep. So we just highlight all of the details that we want to keep. But as you can see, it does a pretty bad job at the edges so the rough outlines it does quite a good job so if that's enough for you we have a simple shape that works you can keep it but for our picture we want a little bit more of a cleaner effect so for that i'm going to jump into canva because canva is actually a little bit better in those background removal tools compared to powerpoint if you want to learn more about canva and how to use the features make sure to follow my channel design skills where i make a lot of tutorials on canva and how to use the latest features and once you're into Canva, you can add the image here as well. And here we're going to expand it to the full screen. And then we go to the edit image tab and we use the background remover. And this one does actually quite a good job at removing the background. It's way cleaner than the one in PowerPoint. You can see that it even goes through the window. So it takes out almost everything at the windows. If you want to go even more in detail, you could also use this magic eraser option and then reduce the brush size, zoom in and then fine tune. Let's put it on one pixel and then you could even fine tune like this to get that perfect quality that you want. I think here we have one more and the rest, I think it looks pretty neat. So if you then do erase, it will do even a good job on these smaller parts of the image. What you can then do is you can click on share. You can download, put the settings to PNG and check the transparent background and then click on download. And this will download the image and then we can jump back into PowerPoint. So if we now compare this, let's add a blank slide and then add the image. This is way cleaner than the one that we had from the PowerPoint version. So depending on the result that you want, you might want to use some external tools for this as well. I'm going to remove the first one and I'm going to add the original picture as well. Let's scale it up and then position it so that it's the same size. Let's crop so that it's 16 by 9 ratio. If we keep all the ratios the same, it will be pretty easy to match them together. Send this to the back and then we can just position this one on top so that we have the exact same ratio. So now we have two layers. One is the building without any background and the other one is just the original image. So we're going to stack them on top of each other. And now we want to look for a third image. And for that, we're also going back to Unsplash. And here we're going back to the home menu and let's look for a night sky. And here you can find a lot of variants. And if you find one you like, let's say this one, you can also download it and then jump back into PowerPoint. We're going to drag this on the slide and then also make sure that it fills the entire screen, set the crop marks so that it fits nicely. So what we're going to do is we go to the selection pane and here we want to select the image and drag it in between the background image and the foreground image. So we can see if we turn these off, we have the background image, we have the night sky, and in the third one, we have the cutout layer of the building. Now let's drag this aside, select the image, right click, format picture, go to the picture corrections, transparency, and then turn the transparency all the way up to 100%. So we have a transparent layer of the sky in between the two buildings. Now we want to duplicate the slide. And on the second one, we want to select that 
transparent image again. And then we want to turn off the transparency to zero and then position everything as it was. Now we have the exact same thing with a daylight background. And we also have a second version with a nighttime background. Of course, you can see that the light of the Taj Mahal itself is still pretty lit. So we can go to picture corrections and picture color. We're going to open those two tabs and we're going to reduce the brightness of the image. You can see that it instantly tunes down the brightness. And we're going to increase the opacity so that it becomes a bit sharper. Same with the saturation in the picture color tab is we're going to reduce it so that it becomes a little bit more black and white and the temperature we're going to lower it so that it's more towards the blue tint. If I were to drag it to the right, it becomes warmer, but if you drag it to the left, it becomes blue. So we don't want to go all the way, but we want to make it just a little bit more blue. And then play around with the settings until you have a result that you like. Maybe more contrast to resemble the shadows. And I think this looks quite nice. And if we now go to transitions and apply the morph transition, we can see that the daytime turns into night sky. Let's preview that. And if we then click, we can see that the daytime turns into nighttime in a cool transition. And it also changes the foreground of the Taj Mahal. Now there's a few more things that we could do here. Let's add some text to the slide. So for example, a text box and we type in day. For the font, let's use something white and font size. Let's try 125. Make it bold, maybe a bit bigger. That could do. Let's see if we can use a font that is a little bit more bold. Let's try Avenir Next Bold. And we're going to copy this text box to the top. And here we're going to type in night. Expand the text box. And then we're going to copy this to text boxes, paste it on the previous slide. And we're going to send the picture, the cutout. We want to send that to the front. So bring to front. We want to do the same on the first image. It's important that you keep the layers the same. And then on the second slide, we want to drag that text, we want to drag it downwards, and then the night should come into place. And now let's preview what we have. And this is how you can turn this beautiful day image of the Taj Mahal. And with a simple click and the morph transition, you can transform it to a night scene of that same picture where we really adjust all the elements so the background, the text, as well as the foreground, the building of the picture. So it's a bit more professional than if you were just changing the background of the image. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you want to learn more about Canva or any other design tools, make sure to check out my channel Design Skills. And if you want to learn more about PowerPoint, please watch the video on the screen right now. And don't forget to like and subscribe.